What are you making? Are you helping? I'm excited Ooh. for another snack day. I teacher. am excited. I want to get so much done. Good morning, Rosie. Cinnamon rolls. Day three of being iced in. Yay, my favorite. This much, like, on the end? Texas iced in. Haven't figured out how to salt down our road yet, so we here. Olive, is this your spot? Is this your spot? We just finished putting this in about two weeks ago, just in time. No, no TV. No TV. That's like the coolest method of cutting them. My mom taught me this. Can't find the other one. Good morning, puppies. Our new little Pyrenees pup, Jack. Do good lad. Hungry. Who's hungry? Everybody's hungry. Everybody's hungry. Good oh, morning, Jack. Just grabbed his arms and morning. pulled them up. <laughs> so fluffy. Yeah, sure is bacon. Yeah, good morning. My hand's stuck. Jack is a new addition after losing a goat last week to some coyotes. We've been keeping our boys and girls separated. And the coyotes figured it out. Figured it out. Want a roosty? <laughs> Look at all their food is frozen down there. Is your paws cold? Is your paws cold? Y'all up next, don't worry. Good morning, chaos. <laughs> a little extra chaotic because we can't. I'm gonna be following you. Come on. A little I'm extra keep chaotic. Keep everybody warm. 
Then we have a puppy. And our pigs are too small to be out by themselves yet. Here you go, piggies. There we go. Okay. Are you ready? Is it time for you? Let me pour it in. It's gonna, oh. Are you down on milk because it's so cold outside? She gave me a whole quart last night. I always feel so bad milking them when it's this cold. I feel like my hands are cold on her, you know? Yeah. Like she's so warm. I thought that was why she was yelling at me the other day. Of course so her hands are, My hands are cold. You can see it steaming. She's supposed to be with dude. Would you like to go check on her? Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. We've owned this for like two years. Now we get to use it. Okay, so when we were... So when we were... <laughs> Although I don't think that they'll come out. It's too cold. When we were buying this property, I was so excited about this hill. And so I bought a sled in the summer. And today's the day. And it's not really snow. It's complete ice. But it will still work. I'm so excited. So we're going to use it for the this first time. This is actually time. the first and listen to what this really sounds like. Come on, let's go down with me. Oh, all right, you ready? You gonna go down with Brody? No, it is done. This have girl, to she is made for adventure. Oh. Here we go. Okay. I stay! Woo! <laughs> What's happening? Because we don't get snow, we get ice. Oh look, we had two more children since our last video. Oh, last boys, time. of course. <laughs> it's been 10 years. <laughs> what do you think? Have you tried your cinnamon roll yet? I had a terrible thing. Just going for it right now. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Okay. Sounds like a chaotic morning. Chaotic morning. Welcome to Texas. So in Texas we get two to three typically like really really cold bouts of like freezing rain, sleet, every once in a while snow. We always hope for snow. It's almost always ice. So this is our second one. We had a very unseasonably early cold snap. It was the coldest it had been in 40 years the week of Christmas. And then I predicted it was going to be last weekend would be our next, but it was really this weekend that happened. So we're all iced in, and I love it. Yeah. I love these days because I'm going stir crazy. he goes stir crazy, but I love it because nobody needs me or can have me except for my family here at home, and so I can get a lot done, which is really nice. Olive is loving the fire, so we're sitting in front of our new fire. Actually, it's not completely done. You can see we still need to do. And you can see grouting. there's a German schmear on the floor here, yeah. which I'll show in another clip. But yeah, we're going to do that all to the back. Yeah, so then well. it'll be finished. But it was finished in time for this, which is great and going to save us a lot of money. So We haven't posted in like two months. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. has it been two months? <laughs> it's been like two months. A lot's been going on. So. We were like, let's start a YouTube channel. Yeah. And then... That's always how it is. I had thought about having some backlog 
videos before we started sharing and then I'm like that's not really the point of it for us like it's just to share our life as we can I have so many people ask me questions ask me for tips ask me for ideas ask me how we do certain things and I tried doing some um, live goat chats people really like those but our internet was terrible so it was really grainy and then from there, people yeah. suggested, hey, you could do some YouTubes because they can listen to it or they can watch it. And I'm a big YouTube fan. I love to watch YouTube for all kinds of things. So that's where that came from. However, I love podcasts. Yeah. Podcasts are my favorite. You love podcasts. You listen mm -hmm. to three, four, or five <laughs> maybe a day. Yeah. I listen to several a week because I'm driving back and forth to clients' houses. Um, I've been asked to guest on several. I always love it, have so much fun. It's not stressful at all. And I've thought about doing a podcast for a long time. I've talked to other people about doing it with them and then just never made it happen. So one of the things that's been going on is we started a podcast and it's a really fun podcast. It's fun. It's like a 100% fun. fun podcast. Have fun editing. We it. just have fun. So it's a podcast with our friends that we got our cows with. You can go and watch the video about the day we got cows. We'll link it below. And it's just all about being new homesteaders. We're first generation homesteaders, essentially. My great grandparents homesteaded, but I wouldn't really say that that counts towards me in any way. So we're first generation homesteaders, both us and our friends, the Floreses. We'll also link their YouTube channel as well. And we just have a lot of fun doing it. We post a new one on Wednesdays every other week. We just posted our third one today. And so we will put that in the notes. Also, you may hear the loud pug. She wants lots of attention. She loves the hearth here. The only reason we haven't posted as much is we, well, we kind of started posting, started going, and then we found out you had Lime. Lime. Have, mm -hmm. not had, have. Have. Have, have had, probably, since I was a kid. Yeah. So, Which on one hand sucks, and the other hand it's like, well, this is why I feel so yeah. happy all the time. Yeah. Well, and I, I plan to do a whole video going into that and kind of sharing my journey, which really, right, a journey. Everybody has me on a journey these days, but it really has been a journey. It's been a journey since I was about 12 years old. And it is the journey that led me down a path um, of holistic living, which has led us to homestead. The reason that we homestead is really to provide the best food that we can. That's our biggest reason. Everyone has different reasons, but that's our reason. Robert grew up this way and food was really important. And so his mom was definitely instrumental in me learning in my early 20s. Um, but I just learned a long time ago that when I ate a certain way, I felt a lot better and I could get more accomplished. When I didn't eat that way, when I had a lot of stress, I felt pretty cruddy. And so that was my reasoning. And actually, when we moved here to the homestead, we did find some mold. Not uncommon, but we found some mold after living here several months. And we've been feeling really bad. I had chalked it up to just being older and having a baby, being a midwife. And so I thought that's all it was. We realized it was the mold just through some learning and experiences. We got rid of it. Everybody felt better. I felt a little better then I got really worse again. And just through really God showing me um, through clients and a couple other things, um, the symptoms might be something. We had some more testing done and found out it was Lyme. And kind of sounds like I probably had it since I was a kid when I grew up on land. And um, so we've been kind of tackling that. I am feeling better, but I have a long ways to go. And so I do plan to share a lot of that with people. So. Speaking of diet, cinnamon roll breakfast we is did. not our norm. <laughs> we did have and the, but they were not sour oaks, organic. Yeah, yeah it's Slaved a treat. away for those. Yeah, it's a treat. And that is part of why I make all of those things is because I can have them and feel better. But I will be having to do a pretty intense uh, parasite cleanse in about a month. I'm kind of preparing for, so I am prepared to feel kind of cruddy. And so between now and then, I'm going to try to get a lot done get some seed starting done probably tomorrow. I love getting seeds started when it's icy and rainy and cold and nasty. There's just something kind of romantic about that. So. And then Sorry, we had to get rid of the noisy pug. <laughs> yeah, she's too loud. She, the more she's loved, the louder she gets. Yeah, she you just does. love on her and she just gets louder and louder. So um, the last exciting thing is we're renaming the homestead, really the farm. It's turning into a farm and I would like for it to be a farm. You would like for it to be a farm. So the name that I have loved 
is a name that was already taken that I came up with for my mom's boutique. Uh, the name of her boutique is The Laughing Willow. When we were trying to name her women's and baby clothing boutique, I had this thought of, oh, like a weeping willow, but you turn that frown upside down. Positive, right? So named it The Laughing Willow. My mom loved that. We decided to run with it, take off with it. And then about a year later, I became a doula. I essentially left her, I say, I still did the buying for her, but I started my own business and she took off with the Laughing Willow. So this last year, my mom decided to move her boutique only online so she can retire. She wants to spend more time on her homestead and with her grandkids. And so she'll be doing collections of the Laughing Willow. She will have some homestead collections, really fun things that I think actually our audience, my friends, are going to continue to be interested in. And so I asked her, hey, can I have my name back for our farm? And she was all about it. She was all for it. So we will be Laughing Willow Farms, which is perfect and makes me so happy thinking about it. Actually makes me like emotional and kind of teary if I really think about it because it's perfect. I just didn't have that feeling of like a name resonated with me otherwise it was just always that name but i couldn't take it from her and it actually when they first decided to close the storefront she thought they were just going to close and she was going to retire and then her store manager was like you know people love what you do can we keep it online um but before that i said hey i really hope that this works for you online but if it doesn't can i have my name back and she was like yes so then i realized well what we really are is a farm I and mean, their store and they're the laughing willow and when I named it, I actually was really like adamant about there not being a the in front of it. I really wanted it to just be Laughing Willow. But nobody could catch that idea for whatever reason. They just would call it the Laughing Willow. So my mom finally just added the the. But I think that it makes more sense on a farm that it's Laughing Willow Farms. So I know there's other Willow Homesteads Farms and whatnot out there. Just so you know, I'm not stealing any ideas. This was 10 years ago, 10 years in the making of this idea, this name, um, this place, whether it be a storefront online or a farm, you know, and I told my mom it would be my love and hope that all of our family lives on Laughing Willow Farm anyway, so it's the whole families. So that will be the name moving forward, and that will be the name on our YouTube, Instagram, website, etc. Etc. Is it farm or farms? Farms. Farms, like don't multiple you, farms. Don't you think? <laughs> this is an example of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing Willow Farms. <laughs> the multiples. Yep. We're, we're a multi campus <laughs> farm, multi site farm. I don't know. Maybe it'll be the Laughing Willow Farm. <laughs> Satellite animals from Willow <laughs> Different kinds of farms. You can have a cattle farm. You could have a chicken farm, an egg farm. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. Sheep farm. I like it. We shall see. All right, well, I hope you guys stay warm. I've heard it's cold all over the U.S., so everybody stay warm, cozy. If you're stuck inside, enjoy it like me. Make the most of it. This is like my Christmas vacation. Until next time.